Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Connor back in the studio. I showed you guys last time how to do uh, silk screen printing, and now I'm actually going to go into detail on how to do it. So I'm going to take you step by step through the process. So first thing you do is you get your emulsion, which is right here, and then you get a screen, which is right here, and you put the screen in the holder. Now, we made this holder custom, so uh, it makes it a little bit easier to apply the emulsion onto the screen. Now what you do is you get your emulsion and you put it in here, which helps, which is the, the scooper, which helps it uh, apply it onto the screen. Now you pour the emulsion in here and you bring it over and you rest it on the screen until a little bit of emulsion comes out and then you drag it all the way up. And you do that one more time again, drag it all the way up and then you do it one more time on the back side. So, just a rule of thumb, we just do two on the front, one on the back, and uh, you don't have to follow that, that's just a guideline that we use. And once you have that completed, you take this, the screen, and you bring it to your dry station. Okay, so again, once you finish applying the emulsion onto the screen, which you did over here, you then take that screen and you bring it to the dry box, which is what we have right here. Now, you got to make sure that you're holding the screen upright you place it in the dry box, which I can't do right now, just because there are other screens inside of it, which will expose them. So what you do after that is you put it in here, and you have to let it sit for 24 hours. So you have to wait 24 hours, or you can wait a little bit longer. Um, again, it depends on, on the dry box. Um, again, this one is custom made. At that point, uh, we do have a shop vac connected to it, which takes up some of the humidor, and it puts in drier just to help it uh, harden a little bit clearer and a little bit harder and uh, just overall makes it look a little bit better. Um, now after that you take your relief which is always black on clear as you can see here and you place this on the exposure unit. Then once your screen is fully dried you grab your screen holding it upright and you place it on the relief which is on the exposure unit just like this, making sure that it is centered. And then you grab this black cloth, you can use any black cloth, it doesn't really matter, and you place it over the whole unit right here, and uh, you get this foam pad and this piece of wood that you then insert inside of the screen. They're custom built so that they do fit exactly in, just so it presses, pushes it down so it gives you a little bit of a, a clearer image. So you put it on here and you let it and you turn the exposure unit on for a minute and five seconds. Now again, this is a, a custom built uh, exposure unit so it can vary from different uh, exposure units. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit longer or a little bit less time. Again, it all depends on uh, the exposure unit that you have. Now, once it's been in there for a minute and five seconds, you take your screen off, you bring it down here, and now you're ready to wash out the screen. Okay, so once you're done with the exposure unit and the screen there, you uh, bring it over to the washing station, which we do have in the back, and at that point you use, or we use a power washer um, to make sure that you can wash the whole screen in. Now this can take um, five to ten minutes. It all depends on um, how, much, how much there is uh, or how hard uh, the emulsion is onto the screen. Um, now at this point what we have to do is then uh, we can take you over here to our press. Okay, so once you finish washing out your screen, you end up with a product that looks something like this. You take this to your press, which we do have over here. Now, once you get your press, you put your product here, if you want it on a piece of paper, a t-shirt, bring it down, put your ink on top of it, and you get a squeegee, which then presses the ink onto whatever you have under here. Now, once it is pressed on, um, it can take a little bit to dry. For the paper, it's a little bit quicker if you do it for a t-shirt because the ink does dry a little bit faster. Here are some of the finishing products right here. This is a five colored one and the other three over here are one colored. Okay, so again, uh, thanks for watching I do screen printing. Um, it is important to me because I did start my own company in high school and I did have to do uh, silk screen printing. So it's also nice to know how to do for when I do start up that company again. And uh, again, just really want to thank you guys for watching my, uh, my video here.